What's up guys, I'm coming to you live from my hub. This is home for right now. Uh, so I made it to Amsterdam, it was a really, really long travel day. Uh, seven hours to Reykjavik, um, landed there at like midnight Denver time, had a two hour layover and then flew to Amsterdam, which is a, that's only like a three hour flight, but then I landed at noon Amsterdam time. So I didn't really sleep. Um, during the travel and then just kind of topped it out the whole day though I did I'm take, end up taking a really sweet nap in Vondel Park um, later on that day which was insane this this whole place is unbelievable I honestly uh, I'm pretty in awe you know I, I met somebody um, that you'll see a little bit uh, in this video here um, that she like just took me on an absolute romp throughout the city ended up on one of the canal boat tours and she said something towards the end of the night that really kind of stuck with me, and that was that just simply, we live in Amsterdam now, <laughs> which is, is an insane sentence, but I, it's true. I live wherever my backpack is, and uh, right now that's, that's Amsterdam. So um, what follows this is just kind of a, a recap of my journey getting here, um, and then a recap of kind of the first day and a half. Um, of my time here so i hope you guys really enjoy it's an absolute honor and a privilege to get to share this with you um and yeah let me know what you think leave me a like leave me a comment hit that subscribe button and uh i'll keep pumping out some amazing hopefully what i think will be amazing footage of amsterdam for all of you uh, enjoy peace since my brand is apparently content content creator now it's starting Holy shit. Maybe at some point I'll get used to the idea of recording myself. It's not today. I am through security and I got myself a beer for maintaining my own sanity. Give it back to what I definitely need to do. So I leave for Regivic in couple hours, uh, 4.50 Colorado time, land in Retrovic, yeah. 12.50 a.m. Colorado time, and then I've got a one hour layer over, and then I fly to Amsterdam, so, let's see. We're boarding the first flight to Retrovic, and then it's off to Amsterdam, seven hours now, and then we'll keep going. Let's go. Kefalavik Airport is freaking gorgeous. It like appeals to everything I thought Icelandic design should appeal to. So shouts to Ikea. Well, not Ikea. I guess that's Sweden, but you get the idea. Got a hour and a half flight over here. That's the hour flight to Amsterdam. And then we're starting. I'm tired. This is amazing.
It is pretty early on Sunday. It's 9, 9.30 in the morning. I managed to sleep amazing last night, which I literally, I never do when I'm traveling, you know, especially on my first night. So it's just a quiet morning through these insanely beautiful Dutch streets. And this place is amazing. It's beautiful. The people are so kind, the food, oh my God, the food. Um, I'm in the Jordan neighborhood right now, which is really fitting. Um, and you can just see like the beauty in this place is absolutely surreal. And man, immediately, like I was super self-conscious about filming anything. And I realized I was super selfish. Like I'm in a really unique position to get to share this with people. And I want y'all to be able to see it. So just a little quick recording. And yesterday wandered around, went to on the park, took a nap, which was amazing. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what else I want to share right now other than just this view because it's amazing. And I'll be, I think I'm doing the Anne Frank Museum on Tuesday maybe. I just want to give myself these first couple days to, to wander, to relax, and not to get too caught up in anything. So, yeah, that's it for this morning. So that sandwich was from a place called Van Gogh Goes, run by this adorable Australian lady that was so freaking good. The baguette was like the star of the show, but the structure pork was really good, the salad was really good, it was, it was all amazing. Definitely worth checking out. <laughs> I think the hardest part for most Americans in Europe is slowing down and that's really hard for me too. So this is me trying. <laughs> you, you tell me when you're done, okay? I'm I, here for 20. <laughs> that might be the wrong thing to say because I might never be done.